Hello there, Fro here again with another weekly football picks video for uh, week seven and a recap week six. And MT, the guy that commented on my last week's video saying that I don't know anything about football, I guess you're right because, well, went five and nine this past week, and this is just, you know, I don't know anything about football. Seriously, though, this is the strangest fucking year of football I've, I think I've ever watched in my 30 years of life. But, uh,. Let's go right into it. Went five and nine, and it all started with Philadelphia, Carolina. I picked Carolina to win on Thursday night. They lost twenty twenty three. Cam sucks. He's back to being shitty again. Philly's five and one, probably the best team in the NFC now with uh, an injury. We'll be talking about in a couple games here. Miami and Atlanta picked Atlanta like I'm sure the rest of the world did, besides Miami fans. And Atlanta blew a 17 nothing lead and lost 2017. Can't make this shit up. Welcome to the 2017 football season. Green Bay at Minnesota. I picked Green Bay. They lost 10 to 23. And their season's over. Rodgers is out for a year, most likely, with a broken collarbone. And Hundley, you know, he might be okay, but Rodgers is the glue that holds that team together. Much like Luck was a, was a glue for the Colts, and so is Payne Manning. You take them out, the, the roster is lifted up by them. And once he's not there to lift them up anymore, it's just a meh to shitty roster at that point. Got that one wrong. First one I got right, Detroit, New Orleans. I picked New Orleans to win, and they won 52-38, to which is a nice halftime score for basketball. But Saints are, you know, they're, they're streaking right now. And the offense is playing better, and the defense has made some plays. I think they batted like 12 passes by Stafford, which is unreal. 12 passes batted in one game. Oh, New England at the Jets. I picked New England to win. They won 24-17. They got some help from the Zebras. No one's going to tell me differently. That's a goddamn touchdown. And at the very least, the very least, there's inconclusive evidence to overturn it. It was called a touchdown on the field. It just did a goddamn touchdown. If they called it not a touchdown on the field and then kept it not a touchdown... I can understand that. There's, not inclu there's inclusive evidence. But, you know, whatever. That rule needs to be changed anyway. If you fumble it and into the end zone and goes out of bounds, it, 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 why does the defense get to that guy in ball? They didn't recover it. They did nothing. It is such a stupid rule. That, that yeah, that's, that's a rant for another day. Got that one right. San Francisco at Washington. I picked Washington. They held on to one 26-24. Got that one right. Uh... San Francisco is the best 0-16 I've ever seen. I think they've lost, like, like, the last four or five games by, like, three points or less each game. They just can't find a way to do it. They they benched Hoyer finally. That had to, that was only a matter of time. But, uh, whatever. Oh, Chicago, Baltimore. I picked Baltimore. They lost 27-24 in overtime. And Flacco, he's, he sucks. He, he's, he might be worse than Carson Palmer. He's, he's younger. He He is awful. He is truly awful. He better grow that mustache back. That's about the only elite thing he can do anymore at this point. Get credit to Chicago. Awesome running game, and their defense has been playing well enough, and they've competed this year, and they've still won this this week. Uh, Cleveland, Houston, picked Houston. They won 33-17. There, there's like so many teams are all in the air. Anybody can win it this year, and you don't know what's going to happen. But Cleveland is still Cleveland. And a lot of people thought they would be better this year, and they are still Cleveland. Oh, boy. Tampa Bay to Arizona. Picked Tampa Bay to win. They lost 38-33. Arizona was dominating this game, and then almost had a crazy comeback against them by Fitzmagic. So I still think Arizona is not a very good team, but they got to win, and that's, you know, everyone matters. Especially this year when it's just wide open. Rams at Jacksonville. I picked the Rams. They won 27-17. The Jags offense is just... It just isn't good. It, it's all for net. Bortles is absolutely useless. I mean, your defense and running game can only carry you so much. And <clears throat> The Rams are a very improved team. They're looking like an almost definite playoff team at this point. Just gotta keep it going, but got that one right. And then, spoiler alert, the last four games I all got wrong. So, let's get ready for that. Pittsburgh, Kansas City. I picked Kansas City. Lost 19-13. They won 
they couldn't get anything going until the second half. They had, I think, six yards of offense in the first half, and then they uh, they put some stuff together in the second half. But just that freaking tip ball touchdown by Antonio Brown was just unreal. I still think Roethlisberger is, is absolutely washed up, but you got you got Bell and you got Brown, and that defense is playing awesome. They they still have a good chance of doing some work this year. Chargers at Oakland. Carr was back. And they lost their fourth straight game anyway. 17-16, the Chargers won. I picked Oakland. I just don't know what to make of this year anymore. It is what it is. And this next game especially. The Giants, with no receivers left, going to the best pass defense in the league on the road at Denver, off a of bye week. I picked Denver. And, of course, the Giants won 23-10. Makes sense. I twenty seventeen football baby. I, I, I don't. I don't know. But I, you know, like the guy said last week, I don't know anything. So take his word for it. It's proof, proof is in the pudding. Five and nine. India Tennessee to end the week on Monday night. I'm done. I uh, I'm done believing in the false hope this team does. They play well this first half, and they fall apart in the second half. All the other years, Pagano was we uh, we've we've sucked in the first half and played well in the second half. He, until either Luck is back or Pagano is fired, I'm not picking the Colts anymore. I don't care who they play. Colts lost 22-36. The, the, it was a one-score game, and then they're trying to ice the game, and Henry had a freaking crazy run for a touchdown, which I think he stepped out of bounds, but, you know, who cares? We would have lost anyway. But it's just uh, you have Marlon Mack, an explosive rookie, and you have T.Y. Hilton. Mack gets two carries, and Hilton gets four targets. You have two playmakers. Why? Why would you use them? Nah, why would you use them? Nah, good, good, good coaching. Just keep chopping wood. Just keep fucking chopping that fucking wood. But anyway, we're at five nine nine of that week, so we're just gonna take this. We're just gonna do that, and that didn't happen. Alrighty. On to week seven. Thursday night, we got Kansas City at Oakland. Kansas City. I'm I'm sorry, Oakland. I just I don't believe you anymore. I just you had your one and done year, and I hope you guys can bounce back because it's it's the least it's better for a league when the Raiders are good, but it ain't looking good. And Kansas City's gonna be hungry off that loss, so yeah. Tampa Bay at Buffalo. If it's Winston or Fitzpatrick, it doesn't matter. I think Buffalo wins this game. They'll come off a bye. That defense is legit. They'll do enough because Tampa Bay is just wildly inconsistent. And I just admit it. I don't know. To, I don't know what to expect them either. Carolina and Chicago. I wanted to pick Chicago in this game because they're at home and they've competed well this year. But my gut tells me that Carolina wins this game, so I'm picking Carolina to win on the road. I don't think Cam will look good, good either, but I think they, they do enough and maybe they unleash McCaffrey a little bit more. Tennessee at Cleveland. Tennessee. Need I say more? Cleveland the dumpster fire. Oh, New Orleans at Green Bay. If Rodgers was playing, I'd pretty much definitely pick the Packers. But Hundley, I know it's the Saints. Their defense is better, and it's, but still not very good. But I'm and it's on the road. I'm picking the Saints to win. I'm sorry, Green Bay, but your season is is absolutely cooked. Arizona at the Rams. Look for the Rams to win this game. Arizona is, you know, I like Fitzgerald and stuff, but. I don't see Peterson repeating that at uh, success, and look for uh, Arizona to try keep the game close. But I think Rams finally win this game at home. <clears throat> the Jets at Miami. Miami might have the worst offense I've ever seen in, the, in NFL history, and yet they what they're three and two. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't. And they, and they beat the Falcons. I'm picking the Jets to win this game on the road and, and get four fucking wins. Wow. Unbelievable. I just, that, that Cutler-led Dolphins offense, like, if, unless, if, if Ajayi can get going again like he did past week, they can definitely win this game, but I just, he, he's only had one good week so far. And Cutler is, ugh. Baltimore, Minnesota. Flacco on the road against the Vikings defense. Look for Minnesota to win that game. Dallas at San Fran. Dallas off the bye week. San Fran is the best 0-6 team I've ever seen. 
Dallas wins. Even if, even if Elliott doesn't play, they'll, they'll do enough to win this game and get back on track. Seattle with the Giants. I always wanted to pick the Giants here just because this, this year is so goddamn wacky. And Seattle, I mean, I know they had a bye, but they're on the road and they aren't the Seahawks over the past few years. They are, are a decent team, but they're not nearly as good as they have been. And I can see a Giants defense causing problems for that offensive line stuff, but Seattle wins this game. It wouldn't surprise me if the Giants won. It wouldn't surprise me if any goddamn team won anymore. It wouldn't surprise me if the Browns beat the Tennessee Titans by 30 points at this point. All right. Cincinnati at Pittsburgh. Look for Pittsburgh win this game at home. Good, tough divisional game. They usually are, but I think Pittsburgh wins this one. Live in Bill. Gets, you ride him until he pukes. Denver, the Chargers. Another game where I wanted to pick the Chargers in an upset, but I can't. I have no faith in the Chargers. I know they won this past week, and they finally didn't choke a game. Excuse me, I almost choked on some gas right there, but I'm picking Denver to win that game. Atlanta, New England, the rematch of the 28-3 Super Bowl. I'm so fucking sick, 25-point lead, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sure Patriots fans will be wearing a lot of fucking shirts mocking the, the Falcons and stuff. But nevertheless, look for the Patriots to win this game. Atlanta. Way to come! I guess the Super Bowl hangover is uh, real. You lost to Miami when you had seventeen nothing lead, which is amazing. I still can't believe that. Washington at Philly on Monday night. Look, Philly to win this game, improve to six and one, and you know get one step closer to that uh, number one seed. Which I'm not a lot of people thought going into the season. I thought Philly would be a good team and would fight, but I think they'd be the best team in the NFC. But it's wide open now. Both conferences are wide open, especially with Rodgers done now. Oh, and the Colts game is at the end of the week, like I always do. Jacksonville going to Indy. I'm, like I said, not picking the Colts anymore until either Luck is back, Pagano is fired, or both. So, uh, look for Jacksonville to win this game on their defense and Fournette if he plays, which I'm pretty sure he'll play. He's a beast. But we can't, we can't, we can't stop anybody. Our, our rush defense is playing decent at the beginning of the year, but. Our defense just, it has playmakers, but, and, you know, we have actually, we actually have some players on the defense finally, but they're on the field way too much. We don't possess the ball long enough. Our play calling on offense is pathetic. Our play calling on defense is pathetic. It's just, the entire coaching staff needs a goddamn go. But until that happens, I'm not picking the Colts. So, that's it for this week. Uh, how'd you guys do in picks this, this past week? How you guys doing this season? I, it's been a rough year. Uh, and I'm sorry if your fantasy team had Rodgers like I did in my one league. You know, I was like a, I was in the top three. My team was doing pretty well. Then I lost Rodgers, and hey, it's not looking good for the rest of the year. So, yeah, I do what I got to do. Uh, but uh, as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I love you all. And have a great day, and see you guys next week.